Hi, and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we are at the Peach Street Center with Lieutenant Christian Daly from the Police Department. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So we are having a safety update, and lately we have some incidents that involves seniors. Can you tell us about it? Yes, we did have two uh, serious accidents that did involve senior drivers. Unfortunately, one is still under investigation that I can't really talk about because someone was hurt. The other one was on Leonard Street where the car flipped over. That was a senior who was perceiving the oncoming traffic being a little too close, and she veered to the right, and her tire wound up driving onto the concrete barriers that are on Leonard Street, and this caused her vehicle to flip over. Wow. Is there any tips you can share to the families with seniors that are driving? Yes, so what we always try to say with seniors is to maybe do like a safety check. You know, many times, unfortunately, what we do see with seniors is when they are driving, they sometimes will think they have the car in reverse and it's in drive or vice versa. You know, how often do they check their mirrors to make sure they can see well or adjust their seat? You know, especially with these newer cars, there's so many different ways that you can adjust your seat. Um, there, you know, the sun glare, people should be wearing sunglasses. Everyone, not even just seniors, should be wearing sunglasses, even if it just means putting another pair over your prescription glasses. Also, understanding your limitations of maybe if you get nervous driving in a lot of traffic, then don't drive in, during the rush hour. Or maybe if you don't feel comfortable driving in the evening, uh, try to do most of your errands uh, during the day but you know, in understanding what you can and cannot do. If, if there are family members who are really concerned, they can speak to the senior's doctor. If they have concerns about their driving, or even if there's neighbors, they can also just call me at the police station if they have concerns about a senior driving. We just want everyone on the road to be safe. That's right, thank you, Lieutenant. Is there any other um, situation that we need to be aware? Yeah, so we've still been seeing an uptick in scams We've been seeing contractors, uh, we just had interaction with them the other week. Uh, they go to people's homes and try to solicit business, especially if they see a house that maybe needs a paint job or the concrete stairs look a little run down, they'll specifically go to that house and they will come agree to a price and then they'll take the money from this, the person. Unfortunately, we've seen a lot with seniors and they do not do the job or they only do part of the job leaving the senior with a mess, with no back porch or no front steps. We always say, never trust anyone who just comes to your door and offers you work. They are definitely not a licensed contractor, they're not insured, and it's a scam. Also, this is the time, we're in, reaching November, unbelievable, um, that people are gonna start shopping for Christmas gifts or other holiday gifts. We do see an increase of package thefts in the area around November and December. We always try to advise, you know, for people having packages delivered, see if you can give instructions of maybe putting it on the, you know, on the back porch. Or, you know, if you see the notification, if you're home, go get the package right away. Many times we've had, especially during COVID, a package was delivered and people say, oh, I got the notification and I went down an hour later. The minute you know your package is delivered, go down and get it. Or if you have a neighbor you can trust, you know, and you're not home, maybe text your neighbor and ask them to put it in a place that's kind of hidden. Also, if you have things on your front porch that maybe can kind of block the view from the street of where a package would be, be potted plants or Christmas decorations, because the package thefts are opportunity. Someone drives by and they see the package on the front porch and they go up and get it. But if you have things, be it a chair or other kinds of decorations, where the delivery person can put the package in the back, that would really help. Or again, if you're working, you can have the package delivered at work. Because as I said, around the holidays, package thieves know that usually it's something of value and that someone is definitely going to take it if they believe it's something of value. So we would definitely recommend you know, being mindful if there are instructions, you have the opportunity for instructions for your package to be delivered, definitely give the instructions. Put it on the back porch if it can, you know, or put it in between the doors. Anything like that, or you know, put it to the left or to the right. Don't, many times, sometimes it's right in the center. Even if it's just to the right or the left and something can be blocking it or a bush, um, that can make all the difference between a package being stolen or not stolen. And Lieutenant Daly, tell me about online scams. 
Well, we have seen a lot of those. We just recently had a woman who in town was on their computer and got a message pop up on her screen saying that she didn't have internet access and she needed to pay $799 if she wanted her internet access. And they gave her a link to click on and unfortunately she gave them her credit card information and her bank information and didn't realize it was a scam till afterwards. Wow. And there's also texting, texting scams. Yes, we've seen a lot of that in both the internet and the texting where they'll say there's a problem with your bank account or there's a problem with your Amazon Prime account or something's been frozen, the charge is not going through and people will send texts and unfortunately people rely on the texts and the text will have a link. And the link will look just like a Citizens Bank account website or a Bank of America website or an Amazon Prime and they ask you to put in your username and password. But then usually what happens is you don't go to the actual website. It says there's something wrong right now and try again later. But so what they've just done is they've just gotten your username and your password for your Citizens Bank account or your Amazon Prime account. And now they go to the real website and have a day. That's right. Thank you, Lieutenant Daly, for the updates. Is there anything else you would like to add? Yeah, we at the police just want to remind uh, our residents that if you have any questions, especially if you think it's a scam or you're not sure what's going on, to please call us. We're here to help you. We want everyone to be safe. And you get a phone call and you're not sure, don't give them any information. Hang up and call our 617-484-1212. That'll get you right to a dispatcher or a police officer. And you can ask us and we can let you know whether that was a scam or not. But we're here to help you. You're, you're not bothering us by calling us. We definitely want people to call us. Thank you for your work. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.